So we start with Photoshop. Going into Photoshop, you want to hit File, New. Once you do File, New, you can title whatever country it is. Mine should be Costa Rica, as that's the country I'll use today. The next thing I'm going to do is change pixels to inches. Once I do that, I can set it as 12 by 12. So it's a square. We say OK. There's our image. Then we go to Internet. And I've gone to Google. I'm going to pull an image from Google. This represents Costa Rica. You can use this image. So you view image to get maximum size out of the image. Um, if you just take the image from here, it's much smaller. The other thing we're looking for is you want your images to be quite large. So where it says 1024 by 769, you want your images to be over 1000 in one of those spots. One of those two numbers should be over 1000, so it's fairly large. The other thing we're going to look for when we look for our map is we want an image that is quite large. So I'm looking at these, these are all fairly small images. Even though they are a thousand for our master image, we want them a little bit larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the search tool to size to large. Then the larger images come to the front. This is a good image to use. So I'm going to use this view image. Now I can use this image, so I right click, save image to downloads. On a PC it's the same thing, right click and download to the computer, okay? In the meantime I'm just going to minimize this, I go back to Photoshop, I'm going to say file, place, and I want to place my image. Now that I have my image I hit enter and it places my image. Now I can place my other images over top. So I can go File, Place, Downloads, and I have a frog already, so I can place him. You can shrink the frog by using the corner tool, so you can make the size of the, the animal or image for your task. So I'm going to move him here so he fits over top. I'm going to say Enter. Then he's placed in that spot. Then I'm going to change the opacity of this image so that I can see the line that I want to cut. So an opacity of, I'd say 30 to 40 is quite good. You go to Lasso tool here. You click on the Lasso. And you can actually highlight any aspect of this. Now this is a rough cut. This is not taking the time necessary to do a proper cut, but it's good for the video. So I make that cut. And I come all the way around and I finish it off. Okay, so we're going to make that editable. We're going to rasterize that layer. Now I can delete that off. Okay, so and if you have any problems like that pop up where it says it's not editable, you have to rasterize it. So you just right click, go to rasterize, rasterize layer, and then now it is rasterized. So you can delete that. Okay. Now, we can pull in a new image. Oh, it's a file place. I'm going to bring in a sloth. I'm going to place sloth out on the outside here. Same thing, hit enter. Change the opacity of it, so you can see the line, go to lasso, create the line you want to follow to cut the excess off, okay? If we hit delete, it says you could not complete this request because it's a smart object and not directly editable. You say okay, that means we have to rasterize it again. Now, you can delete that image. 
And I'll do one more along here. And delete it off. Point is, when you see these and you take these back, they'll pass these back up. You now can have images that represent a country. You can fill in a country with multiple images to the exact same cutout and shape of the country itself. And there you go. From there, if you want to save, you go File, Save As. Change it from Photoshop to a JPEG. And save it to wherever you want it to be saved. And you can hand it in from there. That's it.